Hello again, it's Michelle Blood, lesson number four. Now we're really going to get cooking because now you are going to get into your daily action list, which is so important. Now I've written down some notes here so that we can get really, really clear on how to do this. Now these are the instructions for you to go through. Now remember this very, very important thing. You have to do this with a relaxation. Every action list, every action you are going to take, you are going to take with no attachment to the outcome. As you do your actions, you must absolutely be in the moment, be right there focused with no attachment to the outcome, just doing your best with excellence. Now, if you've been listening to the signs of being great that we gifted you, you will know that, I think that was back in lesson number two or lesson number three, that you, that Wallace D. Waddles was speaking about doing everything in a certain way. He was really getting into the Buddhist thinking in a Western way, which is mindfulness. If you wanna be great and let the greatness flow through you, you have to do every, you know, someone said God is in the details. That's true. You do every action with excellence. No matter what it is that's written on your daily action list, you do everything with excellence, with joy, and with gratitude. Gratitude is extremely important. So let me just read out what I've written here for you guys. This is what you're going to do for the next 30 days. This is your new life. Your new life. Be excited. Go, yay, it's my new life. Everything is possible to you. The impossible becomes possible. Remember, if someone else has done it, you can do it. If someone else has never done it, you can still do it. So here we go. Every single morning for the next 30 mornings, including Saturdays and Sundays, you are going to write down your three main goals that we spoke about in the last two lessons. And you're going to do these same three goals every morning, writing them down as if it's already happened. And you're going to do this first thing in the morning. You're going to wake up, and first of all, this is what I recommend, before your feet even hit the ground, you just center yourself and say, as a wave is one with the ocean, I am one with universal consciousness. As a sunbeam is one with the sun, I am one with universal consciousness or call universal consciousness God. Center yourself. And then just take five minutes. It'll take five minutes, maybe 10 at the most. That's all it's going to take to change your entire life. This works. You're going to sit there and you're going to write down, as we spoke in lesson number two and three, your goals, your three main goals as if they've already happened. You're going to do this every morning for 30 days. Now, the reason that you're going to do these things in 30 days, every day for 30 days, is so that you build up a new habit. After these 30 days, you can do just three days and have two days off or two days and have four days off. But when you do them, it won't become a habit. You won't want to do it if you don't go through the 30 days. And we'll get into that as these lessons progress. But it's extremely important for you to know that you have to do this. And it's just going to take you 10 minutes in the morning to write down your three main goals as if they've already happened. Well, it'll take approximately 15 minutes at the most. And we've already given you an example of how to write them as if they've already happened. So also what we would like you to do, then at night, this is the exciting part. At night, you are going to do your daily list, which we're going to be speaking about how to do your daily list. Now, with your daily list, I can put this down. With your daily list, the reason you write down your daily list at night is because you write them down before you go to sleep. You write down your list before you go to sleep and you don't write any more than six things down. If you do, you're just going to get, you're not going to get them all finished 
and you're going to just be busy for being busy sake again and you will not get your goals completed. You are going to write down at night in your daily list six actions. Now the reason you write them down at night is because then all the universal powers to be, the one power that you are one with, works while you're sleeping. So actually what happens, it works on a psychological way and in a mystical way. When you wake up in the morning, that's the turbocharged part. You have already written down what you're going to do the next day. And I am saying, this will seem miraculous, the opportunities, the right people, phone calls that you normally couldn't get people on the phone are going to call so-and-so and speak to them. It's going to be absolutely wonderful. They'll be there. They'll pick up the phone. It won't go into voicemail. The opportunities that you need, that you didn't know how you were going to get certain person to help you with certain something on your website, will just call. They'll come to your office. You'll bump into them at the post office. Something will happen. Your six daily actions, when you write them at night, that is what happens. And then when you wake up in the morning, you again write down your goals. The same three goals every morning, remember. But your action list is absolutely different to your goals. And we're going to get some clarity. Excuse me while I bob down here. So at night you are going to do your daily list every night. And as I said, why write your list in the morning? Because when you're sleeping, your subconscious mind works on them with God and it's amazing and it's powerful and it's brilliant. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to tape your action list up on a wall. We do this in our office here at uh, Musevation. You're going to tape your action list and you're going to complete, when you've completed an action, you're going to highlight it with a bright yellow highlighter after each is done. If you have not completed the six items on your list by the end of the evening, add what was not completed to the next day's list. Do not beat yourself up too much, well maybe a little bit if you haven't done them all. If you haven't done them all, say to yourself, okay, this is simple, it's worth it to me. I will have clarity, I will know what I have done, I won't be busy for just being busy sake, I will stay clear, I will be getting things done that are helping me achieve my dreams. I am committed, I've already committed myself to taking these actions as each one is important for my future wealth and happiness. Now if you find that you're not doing the things on your daily action list, that is where we're going to go into the next lesson. That means that you are making one action a goal probably and not an actual bite-sized little chunk of the goal. So what you're going to be doing in the next lesson, we're going to be going through with you how exactly you write down your daily actions so that you'll know, we'll, we'll give you an example of one of the goals that we gave you in an earlier lesson so that you'll know how to do this. Now this may seem like it's sounding complicated but it is so simple. It is so simple. It is easy and remember as you do each action you're going to be relaxed and yet focused. Relax doesn't mean, oh, I'm sleepy and lazy. You're going to be relaxed. You're going to be breathing. And you are going to be focused. Focused, focused, focused. Non-attached to each action, using all of your willpower to combine it with God's divine will and that will make you dynamic. And remember, there is no action that is less important than another action. Everything will help you towards your goals being achieved faster and with more excellence and with more joy and with less stress. So until next lesson, well, this is getting exciting. We're going to go into how to do your daily action list. Go find a real gold mine. Go find a real gold mine.